This is Peking Duck. I hear you, Blizzard. No, Sly, I'm the wizard, and you're Zinting Duck. I read you loud and clear, Lizard. No, I, I'm... Forget it, you're not taking this seriously. Yeah, I'm not. Look, Bentley, I know this is your first time out in the field, but you've got to loosen up. If we're going to get to those clockwork parts, I need you on your toes. So in plain talk, what's your status? Well, I've established myself in the basement, and I'm pretty sure I can rewire the service elevator if you can power it up from that security station. Hang tough, pal. It might take some time, but I'll figure out a way to get up there. <laughs> security system. I'm working on the security gate. Presto, all clear. Thanks, pal. For your first time out, you did pretty well. Oh, this operation is far from complete. Now that the lasers and spotlights are offline, Furry should be moving into position for your rendezvous. I'll stay here and provide computer support while you go on ahead. Just take the long way around. If memory serves, you need to jump and hit the circle button to run along ropes. <laughs> I hope you weren't harmed by my meteorophic entrance. No, Murray, I, I kept it a safe distance. Good, good. The Thunderflop knows neither friend nor foe, only destruction. Yeah, could you maybe channel some of that raw energy into the security gate? Of course. It is nothing before the Murray. <laughs> stands before you. Fear not, I shall bend it like the truth.
Solid work, Murray. You're really in the zone. My hulking frame is too much for that puny rope. You go ahead and unlock the doors from the inside. I'll be waiting in the hallway to help you carry out the clockwork parts. Cooper. Inspector Fox, as beautiful and unpredictable as ever. Whereas you crooks are so predictable. You always return to the scene of the crime. Crime? I haven't stolen anything. Yet. Oh, really? Then who broke in last night and made off with all the clockwork parts? You've got the motive. Someone already stole the parts? Don't play dumb with me. It might not have been him, Calmnita. The method of entry and guard casualties all point to this being a claw gang job. The claw gang? Constable Neela, I allowed you to sit in on this stakeout as a favor to the Contessa. I really don't need any help. Oh, I think you might. Look at the facts. Facts? Sly Cooper is right here. I caught him red-handed. I'm just saying that there are other criminals in the world other than... Sly Cooper! After him! Hold still! Oh jeez! Wait up, fly! Shake a leg, Murray. It's time to go. Freeze! This wasn't part of the plan. Yeah, well, this is where things get fun. Hey, come back here, Ringtail! This is getting a little hot. You guys go warm up the van. I'll keep Carmelita busy. You're all going to jail. Pick me up at the rendezvous. <laughs> Carmelita's just as angry as ever. She's really quite lovely when she's angry. That constable Mila. Was a reference to the claw gang just a slip of the tongue? Or an intentional clue? Either way, it's our only lead on the missing clockwork parts. Clockwork. He was consumed with jealousy for the Cooper clan's thieving reputation. Is it inappropriate to refer to him as a monster? No, not at all. What kind of person stays alive for hundreds of years with the express intention of wiping out a rival's family line? Imagine the hatred fueling that first decision to replace his mortal body with soulless machinery. Ultimately, it did the trick. Clockwork lived on. He caught up with my parents, and I wound up in an orphanage. It's there that I met my pals, Bentley, the brains of our outfit, and Murray, the brawn. They turned out to be all the family I needed. Two years ago, I thought I'd finished it. How naive to think I could so easily put an end to that kind of hatred. And now he's back. In pieces, sure, but the threat is real. Does the Claw Gang even realize what they've stolen? I don't know what's in my future, but I won't let you repeat my past. intercepted an email from Dimitri. He's ordered his guards to ring the boat's bell when the coast is clear. Coast is clear for what? Of that I'm uncertain. Ring the bell and follow him without being seen. Then maybe we'll find out what he's hiding. <laughs> Thank you. 
past the laser fence, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop a bomb, and then get out. Good job. Now, use your sleep darts to get by. He's out. Drop a bomb on him while he's down to keep him that way. Hey, Bentley, how you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock side loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now. I've got to keep moving, keep safe. Bentley. We felt that all the way back here at the safe house. And you were right. The peacock sign had half of its bolts pop off on impact. <laughs> like I'm a child. Well, I'm just trying to make it crystal clear for you. What's clear to me is that you're not sure I can pull this off. Look, if I'm the guy for the job, then I'm the guy. Don't worry. The Murray will lay waste to these alarms and emerge triumphant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
baseline, there's the power boxes which route to the printing press area. To take care of them, I'll need you to put a splice clip in those spotlights. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. Just be careful around guards with red flashlights. They're all in communication via walkie-talkie. And if one catches sight of you, or you attack him, the whole mission is a bust. <laughs> to pickpocket guards, sneak up behind them and press the circle button. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. Looks like the fans have stopped. Use them to get on top of the main chandelier and insert that splice clip. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 